Hi, I'm Stan from Over the Hill Adventures, and today we're going to do what you folks have asked for. We're going to upgrade our suspension to the Moride suspension system, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures, and today we are going to upgrade our suspension to the Moride suspension. We're going to take the stock equalizer out, and we're going to change all the bushings and the bolts to wet bolts and brass bushings. So I want to show you real quick on what we what we got here. So this is a CR3 CRE 3000 suspension. Now, because Imagine has a 35 inch wheelbase, make sure you get the CRE. 2-35 make sure you get that those are for all imagines and that's what we were told and then of course this is the wet bolt kit which basically upgrades your standard your standard um, shackles to these half inch shackles um, they're really super nice I was very impressed the way they were uh, packaged so as you could tell they have the grease fittings on that would make them a wet bolt these are the brass, the brass bushings that we're going to re replace because they have plastic bushings in it now. We did 10,000 miles uh, last year, so we've had our trailer for just a little over a year. So this is going to be interesting to see how much wear and tear um, the stock bushings took while we were doing this trip. If you guys like this content, please subscribe to our channel. Um, give us a big thumbs up if this helps you out and ring the bell. We also want to let you know that we are Amazon affiliates. I bought these on Amazon. Um, I think it was 144, I'm pretty sure it was 144 for the equalizer. And I think it was 99, no, it was, it was $99 for the wet bowl system. We found that we were, we were able to find it cheaper on um, Amazon. This is a 2500 RL. If you're joining us for the first time, it's a 2021. 2500 RL. Make sure safety, safety first. Make sure you have jack stands. Make sure it's well supported. The best way to do this job is to have all four wheels suspended. Now I brought them up just, just a little bit. So those tires on the other side are just off the ground. I've already broken the bolts on the tires. So while they were on the ground, so you don't have to worry about trying to do that because if you didn't your tire would spin it'd be really tough so uh, we're going to go ahead and take the tires off but before we do that i want to go over the some of the tools you're going to have to have an 11 16 wrench you're going to have a, a or socket which i have both you're going to have to have a 13 16 uh 13 16 socket i don't have the wrench so i have the big um crescent crescent wrench and that's just basically just to hold the nut. Specs require you to um, torque them down at 40 pounds. I bought some Lucas Red and Tacky grease. This is good for 540 degrees, high temp grease. So when we uh, go ahead and grease the fittings, I also um, bought some uh, um, thread locker. So the, those bolts don't come off, hopefully, but hopefully you'll check them. And so we're, we're ready to go. So come with us. This is going to be fun because I haven't done any of it. I haven't done a side. So you're going to see it as I do it. If it looks like it's a total wreck, then we'll do this side and then I'll show you the good side. <laughs> so, but but uh, this shouldn't take too long. I expect that uh, we'll be uh, going through this pretty quickly. It is absolutely important to know. Let me turn off my headlamp. <laughs> my headlamp. Um, this is the best thing in the world. Um, it's absolutely important to know that you are supporting your trailer by the frame. And if you don't feel comfortable with doing this job and supporting it, then please don't do it. Um, I'm, I feel comfortable about that, about doing this job. I've done other trailer, my boat trailer axle. So um, please, if you're not comfortable, don't do it. But I'm gonna show you how this backyard garage guy can uh, just do this job. You know the attachment that brings up my stabilizing jack fits on these tires. So I already told you I broke the nut, so we're gonna just do this real quick. It's also important to make sure, because I have a TPMS, that you wanna make sure you keep your tires in the right order. 
In order to show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this out. This is the stock equalizer. We're gonna change this out. We're gonna change out these brackets. Then we're gonna push out the bushings and, and replace them with brass bushings. Once we've done these and we've changed out these, we will go and change out these. So I'm getting these bolts off. And to be quite honest with you, a little tougher to get off than I thought. They're supposed to be able to break free and they're not. All right. So there you go. So this part was already spinning on this, which it's not supposed to. Um, which kind of surprises me. How, however, the shackles are in good shape. But I don't know why that was giving me so much grief to come off of there. I mean, I was really worried that I was going to strip it when, when taking it off. So I've got this one. This is kind of strange because that should not be turning there either. So I've got one more here. And so, let's get to it. Shot out him when it killed somebody. <laughs> there. Did you see that thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this real quick. After a year, just one year, you can see how worn the plastic is already. This would have been binding and not give you the equalization you're supposed to have. This is basically a perfect, perfect size to pop out your plastic bushings. It works great. Here's your plastic bushing. They're pretty, and not too bad, but you, they're definitely worn. Let's do the next one. Fortunate that my extension fits perfect. This is also showing some pretty good worn. So, all right, that's it for, for getting that out. Let's put in the new stuff. It's important that you grease these before putting them in. Take this, put this up there like this. You definitely don't want to damage the bushing, so. I basically use my screwdriver and use this part to put in the um, bushing. I'm gonna grease them all up first before I put them in. Now Moride recommends that you put the fittings away from the tire, which then allows you to be able to grease them without taking the tires off. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, now the question is, can I put that I also didn't realize that they're actually giving you extra um, brass because your um, 
upgrade kit comes with extra bushings in case you weren't doing this. So that's kind of neat. I think that's kind of interesting. I think um, the insulation is pretty easy. What's tough is the bolts. You know, they've been on there for a while. Um, I don't know if the manufacturer actually put um, Loctite on it, I, but they were not easy to take off. And so, lining these babies up, so we're gonna loosen this up a little bit. Hopefully it'll swing this down a little bit, is what I'm hoping. What's going to happen, which I'm pretty sure it will. I'll loosen this up a little bit. See, see how, see how that worked. A little bit more. Sure you don't hit the there you go put the other bracket on and then I'm gonna put some loctite on that too make sure that's in there okay Just trying to ensure that I've got a good that it's in there real good. I'm gonna take this off now, and I'm gonna go get my Loctite real quick. If you look at this, so that goes on the back end. So that needs to be you have you have to put hit that in there. So you've got to find something that's not gonna damage, um, which this may be perfect. Um, just something that won't damage the fitting while you're you're hitting on it, you know. This might be. I don't think it takes that much, but we'll see how that works. So what I'm going to do is this I've already dropped. Get this out of the way. I know for one thing that once we get the torque wrench in there, that'll torque it up. So let's just go do that. And I want to make sure that's all the way in there. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not really happy with that right there. Um, because the bolt's not seated all the way in there, so I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. Perfect. So, I'm comfortable with it now. It's nice and seated in there. I'm gonna back this off. And then bring it back to 40. There we go, check it again. 40, check it again, 40, 40, 40, and there you have it. So that's in, now we're going to come over here, we're going to take this out, I'm going to get the jacket underneath there. Make sure it's not in my way. That's fine. And now we're going to loosen this baby up. What we got to do here with this one, we got to loosen up the bolt, pop the bolt out, um, change that bushing out that's here, and put the wet bolt back in. So that's what we're going to do.
kind of manipulating the jack a little bit to uh, get that out. Gives it less tension and more tension. Inspecting this a little bit, Teflon is already cracked, um, really thin. You can tell it's been wearing. So hopefully with the new bushing, that's not gonna happen anymore. So again, we're gonna put the new bushing in. Hope you guys can see this. You can probably bring it a little closer to you. I'm gonna try to make quick work of this right here, this part. Bushings in there, get our bolt, putting the bolt in from this side, I'm going to grease it, see these ridges right here, that's what's going to set that in there, so once you lift it up and you line up the, line up the bolt, or, or line up the hole, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lift it up, And I'm going to try to line that thing up. Take our bolt. Pop in our bolt. Happy bolt. I'm liking the way this is going in. A little bit much easier. I'm going to use my Loctite here in a minute. Make sure this thing's set up. Now, every once in a while, check these, you guys. Um, I've seen them break here also, um, so make sure you check those. Make sure that looks all right. Never know about those beautiful roads that we, ro we roll on. Put some Loctite on there. Torque wrench has become my favorite wrench so far, so. Seems like it seems to be doing the job. Now what you're hearing there is you're hearing my torque wrench at 40, but I'm going past it because I have to seat this bolt in there. There you go. Once again, these things are seated in there, so. That's why you have to bang them out right there. See those? See those ribs right there? It so happens that this extension that I have, this 3.8 extension, it's perfect in there. It's just like, woo! There you go. See this thing here? Well, it's just about on its way out. That's only after a year. Sorry. After a year. That's only after a year. It's almost it's cracked and it's worn out. And like I said, I just use this right here with my screwdriver right there and it just pops it right in there. And as you can tell, this is another one of those bolts that have that ridge right there to seat. So I'm going to pull it this way a little bit. 
I, well, maybe I'm not going to put anything in it with that. Look at that. Well, I, I got to tell you, it becomes easier once you do a little bit and do a little bit more, but but uh, very capable of doing it. And so I'm going to use this to seat that. I gotta make sure I keep this on. Kind of slipped a little bit, I think. On 40. Make sure I lock that baby in there. All right. So now I'm gonna back this off a little bit. So I can see that there's a little wear here on the leaf spring. And so you wonder why that's doing that. I don't know. But I'm gonna put some Loctite on there. I'm gonna make sure I seat that thing in there. And then we're gonna put the tires back on. I think that's it. It is not gonna go anywhere. What bolts are in? The CR3000 is in. This side's been complete. How long do you, how long do you think it took me? Two hours. Really? Yeah. All right, well, it took me two hours for a 30 minute job. Well, I think the bolts took you an hour. To get... I think it's the bolts, but now that I'm pretty, I know what I'm up against. I think it's gonna be a little quicker. So I'm gonna get these tires on. All right, here it is in a nutshell. We're gonna do the other side now. Um, it's gonna be quicker. I know it's gonna be quicker. Here are the two roadblocks that you may come into. Number one, can you safely suspend your trailer with the proper jacks? I think I have but you need to ask that, that question yourself. And then putting on the system was really super easy. Taking off the old was very difficult, but I think I've got the wrench that I like using. Um, the nuts are not supposed to spin. They're, they, they, they're supposed to be seated bolts and They've worn, and so they're not seated anymore. It makes it a little bit difficult to get them loose. So um, let's get with this other side, and let's see what we can do. Let's see. All right, it's 115 right now. Let's see how quickly I can do this. See the way that bolt turns? I'm hoping you can see that. That is not supposed to do that. So we're going to have to break all those nuts. The center bolt is going to be, have to be punched out because of the because it's seated in there. All right, I told you that this bolt, this is the one that's seated in there. So I'm going to I'm going to knock that one out of there. All right, what did that take me? Like I started at 115, took me 15 minutes to take all that part, which took me I don't know like an hour before. So. Once again, per Moride, um, they recommend that you put the grease feedings on the inside and we're off to the races. I think the hardest part of this whole thing is leverage. Once you get the right leverage, it's easy peasy. Knock out the plastic bushings. Take a look at them. They're not in bad shape. Not in bad shape, but I don't know if they would have lasted another year. I don't know, I'm not a pro. Let's take a look at this one. Clearly worn, not cracked. 
while I was doing that, I was putting my fingers over the, the fittings of the, uh, the grease fittings so I wouldn't hit them with the hammer. Just like that. I think you'll see that this went rather quick, so I think once you make your way, we're good to go. So here creates another problem. We've got the gray water hose. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get in there without slipping and damaging that hose. If you look over here, you see this? This is in the way, and I have to I have to take that bolt out. So what I think I want to try to do is try to C-clamp it, and try to push it out that way. Let's see if that works. All right, here's my C-clamp. I have no expectations of this working, but we're gonna give it our best try. I think it's working. It worked. It worked. Well, there you go. Sometimes you gotta find a way to make it happen. Be careful for these wires here, brake line wires. You know, once those those little Teflon bushings that they put in, once they wear out, it's gonna be metal on metal. Mm -hmm. And once they bind up, that's what creates a possible breakage in the leaf spring. I don't understand why they don't just do it in the first place. It just seems everybody is traveling a lot further now. That's the completion. I did both sides in three hours. Uh, the first side took two hours because I got to find, had to find my way and and that understanding on how they had these bolts that were supposed to be seated, but then in fact they were rounded and I don't know how that happens. And however, um, this is gonna allow a lot more travel. It's gonna be a softer ride for the trailer. And I think it uh, is definitely a much needed upgrade. So if you have an Imagine, um, I would highly recommend this upgrade, um, it didn't cost very much. And also for the fact that uh, you could do the install yourself, um, I think it's well worth it. And I think it's gonna help the longevity of your leaf springs. Is it gonna last forever? I don't know, but I think after a year, um, it definitely took some wear on those little Teflon those little Teflon uh, bushings, so which I was rather surprised to see. I want to make sure that you understand that we are in no way um, affiliated with Moride whatsoever. Um, we're gonna go to the Grand Design Rally here in about a week and a half. It'll be a good um, test on how these um, these wet bolts and this. Um, suspension system works and we'll let you know till the next time